Hello everyone. Um, now that we have our uh, our uh, ring end gap all figured out, it's time to do the uh, piston to bore clearance. Um, it's a real easy check. Uh, I'll show you how to do this. All you really need is your feeler gauges and one of your pistons. Um, this is how I do it. Uh, there might be other methods, but um, all you really need would be the filler gauges, your piston, and a reference to what your clearance is. Now the clearance for this engine I believe is no greater than two thousandths of an inch. So all you do is just stick your piston in there. You want to use the piston that goes to the cylinder. So this is uh, number seven. So I'm using number seven piston. And I just measure, I just put it all the way in, get it right below the uh, very edge there. And uh, I just, just stick it right around the skirt. You shouldn't be able to fit it too in. As you can see, I can just barely get the tip in. It won't push all the way in. So we know that this clearance is good. Um, that's about all there is to it. Um, I don't take a whole lot of time with that clearance. Um, it, it is sort of important, but at the same time, it's not as important as your ring end gap or things like that. But now that I've shown you how to do that, it's time to uh, put the piston rings on the pistons. Now that we know our clearance is good. And you want to do that check for every cylinder. Uh, it's good practice. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get my piston rings all cleaned up and uh, start putting them on. Thanks for watching.